Games here. One year in the making, I am very, very pleased to announce our new master project named Sky Builder. Okay, and in just in one minute, I'm actually going to give you a fully interactive demo of the Sky Builder software, and at the end of the video, I'm going to go and show you how you can actually go get your hands on the Sky Builder software. Uh, before anybody else, okay. I'm going to make a, some things that so you you can go get it on it very very early. So go and watch this, and this is a time sensitive offer, so I suggest you watch the entire video today um, uh, because you have a very very incredible chance to get it on this right away, okay. Now before I go ahead and switch the screen and start with the software demo, um, let me give you a little bit of background on where we came up with Sky Builder, okay. Now uh, generally put, and this is you know a very very gross general description sky builder is a mobile application builder so what it does is it automatically goes and builds apps um, that you can go and submit to the app store so people can go put on their iPhones and their iPads and it also submits it to the Android marketplace in Google Play so people can go put it on their Android phones and their um, and their tablets um, the cool thing about Sky Builder is it's following a lot of the same principles of Mage. Okay, so for those of you that have Mage, you know the reason why Mage works and why Mage is so successful is it because it follows the quantity principle. Okay, I mean, sure, we can go and spend all this time going grooming all these sites and doing all this stuff, but you know, at the end of the day, we found that if we just use software and go and put up 10, 15 sites in a day, we actually have the chance to go earn significantly more money by winning through um, quantity. Okay, so th this is the same philosophy that we came to with Sky Builder. Okay, we thought, well, you know, we could go and hire somebody to go build an app for us for the App Store, and you know, we could go and spend ten thousand dollars to develop that app, and you know, do a bunch of marketing, and you know, that app may or may not be successful. But what if we went and developed a software? that with a few clicks of the button now this might sound familiar but now it's for different is for mobile apps not for websites with a few clicks of a button you can actually go create your own mobile app in under five minutes okay what that essentially means is you can have your army of mobile apps out there on the app store and the android store earning you money okay now there's two ways effectively to use sky builder and hold on your horses i'm going to go and demo it just one second i'm just getting this sort of you know preliminary stuff out of the way so you can do that and the people are wondering yes the screen hasn't changed yet okay sorry i'm not going to have like a bunch of fancy slides to show you um but i do have a very very cool demo in just one minute there's two primary ways to use sky builder one is since you're able to go build unlimited amounts of mobile apps you can actually go and use Sky Builder to go and build for clients and for other people. So you can go right away, start a business, um, contacting businesses and say, hey, I'll go build a mobile app for you. And then you go and click a few buttons in Sky Builder and you have a license. You can make as many as you like. And then you're done. Okay. The other way you do it is you kind of follow the mage principle. And this way works is you basically mass produce apps. And we're going to show you exactly how to go mass produce apps um, and get them on the store. So you might just be making a little bit of money off of each app, but it doesn't actually matter because you're winning through quantity. And you know, some of you might be wondering, well, what about getting those apps accepted into the app store? Well, we have our ways and we're going to be showing you. And also, um, you didn't, might not know this, but the Android app store is absolutely huge. I don't have the exact numbers on me, but I think it might actually be built bigger than the Apple app store. More people using Android devices. So you do have an incredible reach there. And uh, you know you can make money by selling them or you can do them via advertising. I found you actually make more money if you do it as a free app and go ahead and monetize in other ways. Okay, so that out of the way, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to show you a demo of Sky Builder. And at the end of the video, I'm going to show you how you can go and get Sky Builder uh, right away or tomorrow, actually, um, if, if that's your thing, if you think you want to get into it. And this is the new thing. This is what I'm working on. This is full on my project. And this is the new direction, mass producing mobile apps. Now, before I go and show you the demo screen, just let me give you a little caveat that, you know, we're we're a little bit away from our commercial launch, so it's not as pretty as we'd like it to be. Um, so just just keep that in mind. It's not doesn't have a bunch of pretty bells and whistles and big fancy buttons, but you know the reality is is it's going to do the same things. But 
trust me, when we get the uh, the final version out for the consuming public, you know, we'll we'll make it all really really pretty for you. Okay. So without further ado, let's show you Sky Builder. Now for this uh, for the sake of this demonstration, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go and walk you through creating a new app. So we're going to go create um, a new app as we go along. Okay. Um, for the so we're just going to go ahead and click the create a new app button up there. Okay. Very, very simple stuff, okay? Okay, so now when we're creating a new app, uh, what we gotta do is we gotta go and start filling in fields. Now, when you go to create an app, you're normally gonna have a lot of this information ready already. You're, not, you're already gonna know what you're creating an app for. Maybe you have a client that just paid you a thousand bucks to go make an app for them, or uh, maybe you have a whole list of different niches that you wanna do apps in, so you have different stuff ready. Um, in this case, um, I'm just, I just went to the Whole Foods Market website, and I'm just pretending that uh, Whole Foods Market is one of my clients. For those of you who don't know Whole Foods Market, they're you know a healthy supermarket chain in the United States. I'm just pretending that Whole Foods Market came to me and they you know they paid my consulting fee of like twenty thousand bucks and they're like, Greg, you go create us a mobile app. I'm like, sure, Whole Foods, give me twenty thousand bucks and let me open up Sky Builder. Okay. So um, the app title, let's just you know type this in here, Whole Foods Market. Okay. Okay, app description. Um, I'm just going to fill in some general information. All about Whole Foods Market and healthy eating and living. Download this app to keep up to date okay um, and you know obviously we're, we'll, we'll work more on the app description because uh, that's going to be in the uh, you know the marketplace description so you want to have something you know that's engaging and such we're just putting in some filler in there the next thing you want to do is go ahead and choose an app icon okay um, I don't really have an app icon right now so let's just go ahead and pick one from let's just go pick one that I have on my desktop um, so we could just go pick pick a pick a general one okay here's some penguins okay it's gonna go. It's gonna go resize it and all that. It's not gonna be the right dimensions, but we'll just go ahead and fill that in there. Okay. Now the next thing I want to do is I want to determine if I want this app for the iPhone, for the iPad, or for the Android because it's a different compiling process. Now we could obviously do it for all three. For some reason, you only want it for the iPhone or the iPad. You only click one. Maybe maybe you have a client and you know they they're only gonna pay you for doing it for the iPhone and then later they do it for the Android. You just come back and click a few buttons. But for now, let's just say this is an iPhone app and an Android app. Okay. Then we click the little save and continue button and go to the next page. And we get to this page, which is where you're going to go and do the splash screen. The splash screen is that first uh, page that everybody goes and sees when they go ahead and uh, open up your app. So here you're going to go customize what everybody's going to go see when they get to that screen. Okay. So the first thing you want to do is customize your launch title tab. Launch tab title. So um, what's it going to be called? Just, just call Whole Foods. App. We're not getting very creative here. We're just blurring through it. Okay. URL for social for social sharing. Throughout the app, there's going to be places where people can go ahead and share. Um, what you're going to need to do is um, go ahead and put in something. Where do you want them to go and share it? So in this case, um, let's go ahead and say Whole Foods Market. Okay. Okay. The next we want is a click to call number. Um, I, uh, the iPhones and the Androids, uh, what you can do is, because um, if you're making this like for a local business or a client, they're, you know, it's essentially going to be a billboard. So they're going to want a phone number on there that's going to be very, very easy to call. So if your client has a phone number on there that they want you to call, go ahead and put it in there. So let's just do 555-555-7777. Obviously a fake number, but there you go. Okay. Um, a, click, a click to email, same thing if you want it on there, how they can contact you. Okay. Wholefoodsmarket.com. Um, a directions um, if you wanted to go and integrate with the GPS directions as well. Um, somebody all they have to do is just click on there and it's automatically going to show up in their Google Maps or their maps that are integrated onto their phones so they can get there. So we're, you see what we're doing is in terms of you know one way going and building these for clients, we're integrating all these features that make it very very useful for somebody uh, making an app for somebody for a small business you can really really go charge a premium for these apps going out there okay so we can just call it you know one two three weirding way san jose 
California 95128, for example, okay? Um, the, the, the next thing is the launch image. This is the image that's going to be showing on the main screen when the app goes and launches, okay? Let's just go ahead and choose my file there. Um, I get an image there about berries. Very, very cool. And let's go ahead and save and continue, okay? Okay, so now the next thing we're going to do, now again, I know this doesn't look very nice, but I promise, guys, we're going to make it really, really pretty. You can see we just have, like, filler text in here. We just haven't done the directions. But I wanted to get this to you really quick and show you what it actually does. This is just, you know, cosmetic kind of stuff, which we're going to make really, really pretty later, okay? Um, the next thing, next thing we're going to go do is... Um, we could choose which modules we want on there. So if you've ever been in an iPhone app, um, you can go and choose which modules. So I'm going to just briefly go through all of these, and we can go and select uh, some of them, okay? Um, the first thing we can do is we can go ahead and select content feeds. So simply by going and putting in uh, a keyword, what it does is it actually goes and populates uh, with stories or whatever based around that keyword. So you could have news, events, uh, local news, local events, uh, I think daily deals, that kind of stuff, or blog feeds. So you're actually uh, going and dynamically populating your uh, your app with different sorts of feeds based on keywords. Again, there's a lot of features in here, and it really depends how you're going to use it, depending on which features you're going to use. You're not going to want to use um, all these features for everything, but you know, for depending on <gasps> excuse me on your business model, you're going to use some of them. Okay. And the next thing uh, you're going to do is, you know, do you have a photo gallery? Um, GPS coupons that's something we're going to cover in the training we're going to go through right now and upsell and cross sell uh, maybe you have a free app uh, and you want to go and upsell it to you know a paid app or go and promote an affiliate promotion of someone else's app you simply just go and click that little box okay next thing is if you have a social media account that you want to promote directly like from Twitter Facebook or YouTube okay uh, social media keywords means that it's not going to promote your account directly but I could put in um, a keyword like into like YouTube like carrot or something and I'm gonna get a bunch of videos about carrots um, with social media accounts I would actually go and put the uh, the name of my account in there and it would actually pull my videos from my account okay um, down here business information you know general stuff about us contact us which is automatically gonna go email opening hours testimonials web page contact form all completely integrated okay now let's just go make um, Let's just make a really, really simple app. I'm not going to use all the features right now, but I'm just going to use a few to kind of show you, to show you generally what's what's going on here. Okay, so let's pick um, some news keywords. Um, let's see what else here. Uh, let's do a photo gallery. Um, let's do uh, let's do my uh, my Facebook account, and let's just do a Twitter keyword, and then how about an about us? Okay. So again, we can use, just like just like with Mage or something, you could use all of them or not. Depends, you know. I found that you don't want to overload your app with too many tabs because, like on the iPhone, for example, I think you can only keep you know five of these on the screen, and then there's a more button. So if you put too many on, a lot of them are going to get lost. So you know, it's really really recommended depending on what type of app you're making that you really really go and laser focus. Um, you really really go and laser focus what you're doing. Okay, so let's go ahead and click save and continue. Okay, so now now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and customize each one of the mo modules. To do this, um, we're going to need a master keyword. So let's just say Whole Foods and a master address. See, guys, this looks familiar. It's like Mage, but for mobile apps, and it's called Sky Builder. You see where we're going, and this is you know this is why I wanted to show it to you and why I was so excited about it. Is we're really really taking this to the next level. Okay. So let's just go ahead and have fun and customize um, our stuff, okay? Click to customize news, okay? Okay. What keywords do we want for news? Um, do we want to, uh, let's just do carrot. Let's see what happens. 